welcome to this reflection. Change your ways, the kingdom of heaven is near. John the Baptist tells us in the third chapter of Matthew's Gospel. We meet John the Baptist at the beginning of the Gospels, an austere and intriguing character, inviting people to change their ways. John was what we might call a fellow who said it like it was. He was not afraid to call out those around him, especially the religious leaders, and he challenged them to a different worldview and new way of living. John called his contemporaries to conversion. The word conversion means a change in form or character or function. And often when talking about conversion, we use the Greek word metanoia. And this means a transformative change of heart. It suggests a change of mind. And John the Baptist and Jesus after him invite us to conversion or metanoia. They invite us to see ourselves differently and in so doing change the way that we speak and act. This week we remember and celebrate someone who took up the invitation to conversion, St. Ignatius Loyola. The feisty young competitive Ignatius imagined a life of chivalry and power and success and some say he was a bit of a rogue or even rebellious. But when a cannonball struck his leg and he was unable to go about doing what he loved doing, he began to hear the invitation of God to conversion. At first he wasn't sure what was going on, but slowly God invited him to see himself differently and in so doing change the way that he lived. Ignatius gave up his dreams, accepting the invitation, and left the Christian church a great gift in the form of his spiritual exercises. He also founded the Society of Jesus. Ignatius, like John the Baptist, answered God's invitation to conversion. They, in response to God's love, chose to embark upon a journey that offered them a new worldview and called them to a new way of living. They let go of what they wanted to embrace what God wanted. John, the cousin of Jesus, lives an austere life in the Judean desert, inviting people to change. He heralds Jesus' coming, and St. Ignatius gives up his pursuit of chivalry and power and worldly success to answer God's call and show his contemporaries there is another way of living, the way of the kingdom of God. Where is God calling you to conversion? Perhaps in one area of your life. Maybe to embrace a new worldview, convert to God's vision of yourself and the world. And so, what do you need to leave to embrace that vision? Let's pray. Lord God, help me to hear your invitation to change my ways, your invitation to conversion. I want to see myself and the world as you see. Give me the grace of a change of heart. Amen. May God bless you.